Uh, this project started with Julia and Searchlight's desire, I think, to work together. And so they had sort of like uh, loved the idea of what's the American take on force majeure. So we sort of came even after Will. So we were, you know, we heard what the party was. We accepted the invitation. <laughs> Ew. That was... Let's hope they don't use that. I hope they do to use it. I mean, cause <laughs> it was a dinner party, and we wanted to be a part and of it. And it was black tie, and I said, <laughs> I'm in. I have the outfit. We were already fans of Force Majeure, as was everyone involved. Uh, but, you know, obviously this, the tone was something we have played with. It's very different from Force Majeure. And also with Julia's including, uh, uh, being part of this, we wanted to sort of dig into the Billy character, her character, a little bit more than maybe Force Majeure sort of deals with masculinity and cowardice. And we kept that on the Pete side of things, but really wanted to think about an American couple in this situation and also being out fish out of water. So it was important for us to take the spirit of Force Majeure and, and but come from a different place, which obviously happens, has to happen because the characters are different. I think one of the benefits of working together is uh, twofold. One, when your brain is fried, that somebody mm -hmm. else is there to help sort of carry the load. That's fair. <laughs> uh, so his was fried consistently. Because <laughs> I was so. skiing. So I, I was the literally boulder in of the ideas. Sun. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then what's twofold? What's the other the, one? The second one is it's just more fun because you are able to um, do bits and laugh together. And um, and I'm told I'm a blast. <laughs> I'm told. Next question. We were uh, the beneficiaries of Julia already being involved in the film, as, uh, well, as, as was the case with Will. Um, as far as the other roles, uh, we cast them, really, um, from auditions, uh, I would yeah. say. There wasn't, it wasn't uh, any previous relationships that we had had with any of the actors. No. We just um, lucked out, and I think, you know, after uh, Zach Woods and Zoe came in. Uh, we loved sort of them so much and had them work together. Work together, and then we ended up rewriting a lot of the script, kind of based on what they brought to the audition. Just so characteristics of those two particular characters. Yeah. Yes. Originally, the Zach character was sort of this more mm -hmm. machismo kind of Colorado skier, um, and his girlfriend was sort of a little bit more. Um, kind of going along for the ride with him, and then we just Flipped found it, it to be more interesting to flip it, um, kind of based on what they did in the audition. So, uh, and then we just lucked out with Miranda, who was fantastic, um, Christopher, who had been in the original. Um, sure, and um, Searchlight's idea that we should put a little nod to it. Yeah, and he was so perfect for that role. And then all the way down to every supporting character, we just kind of got lucky. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they see it as an identifiable depiction of what marriage is like because marriage is a lot of work. It's constantly a roller coaster where you know you have terrific moments and you have trickier moments that require um, you know you to uh, dig out of it at times. And I think at the end of this movie and and the original for that matter, there is the question of. You know, the what, debate of it all. The debate of it all. The conversation that happens at the end of the film, hopefully between you know you and your spouse, if you watched it together. What what would it's you do? It's easy for us to say from afar. Oh, absolutely, I'd stay. And then there's a different thing when it's a, a moment. And I think also, even, obviously, this is deals specifically with a relationship that is marriage. But I think relationships in general, uh, there's a theme of just of the people that are closest to you. And, uh, you know, there's moments where you can lose yourself in something. And it's sort of about, you know, both these characters are realizing where they fit as a couple, mm -hmm. what they've been complacent with, and what they need going forward. So I think there's always like a, a we always have to sort of uh, reinvigorate our relationships and, and make sure that we're part of it. despite how long you might have been with someone, you, you don't always confidently know who they are, yes. you know, in any circumstance. Mm -hmm. I think you can, you know, you, you, there's a certain comfort level, uh, but 
there are times when you may be surprised by... I still don't know who he is. ...their actions. Yeah. I'm an enigma. I think that's what makes no, me so it's special. No, just a bad, I don't know. A him. real just words. mystery tour. No.